Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So today's daily quest is to cast 20 white or blue spells. Not too difficult. Um, we don't, we do not have a white blue deck still. I just, I don't really care for the, um, for the meta that is involved with that. Most, currently most all of them are control decks, and it's just, I just, I, I can't. <laughs> so today we're gonna do some more mono white humans. I thought about doing some mono blue tempo, but I did just say I don't really want to play a control deck right now, and that's kind of what this is. So we're gonna do some mono white humans. Anyway, nothing has changed since the last time we ran this deck. It is still heavily, heavily creature focused. Yeah, no spells whatsoever other than, well, I do have a uh, case of the getaway express and ossification in this deck just because they're both really good. But other than that, it is a creature deck through and through. So let's see what we can do with it. Uh, first time we ran this deck, things went, I think things went pretty well, pretty well, about, about even. I'd have to go back and check, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure things were about even. Some good wins, some losses, but the deck does have the, have the opportunity to be absolutely terrifying with, with Adeline and whatnot. So yeah. But anyway. Ooh, we actually get to start off with Thalia. Nice. I don't get to see her as often. I don't know why things are seemingly running a little slow there, but hopefully that fixes itself. Okay, we're playing against a enchantments deck. That's that's great. Gonna benefit from it all, so send that out. Yes. Oh, uh, why not? Block something else too if you wanna if you wanna live through this. There you go. Nope. Oh. So you have to block one of my other fours. They did not. Alright. I'm going to assume they didn't they didn't do the numbers. 
If they wanted to survive that turn, they would have had to block one of the other four, Ford powered. But I'll take it. They were going for like some of the better ones to get rid of. Um, Sanguine Evangelist is a really good, was a good card to target to get that off the field because of its uh, battle cry ability, getting giving everything but it, everything excluding itself a plus one to its power. So I get why they target it, but that wasn't the main danger. But anyway. It's all good. It's all good. First match out of the way, and we'll take that win into our next one. Next match, not next win. I can, <laughs> I never, I never go into a match assuming I'm gonna win. Though I kind of like this start. Human Lunark. Probably start up, probably go in with a copper coat next. Human Copper Coat. For, we're gonna go for saturation. I'm okay if I lose the Lunark here. They chose not to. Fair enough. Another root. Isn't that a legendary? Yeah, you have to. Yeah, as I was gonna say, that's a legendary creature. So you're going to have to pick one or the other. Alright. Well, if... Depending on how things went there, I was going to probably play the Brutal Cathar to take away the creature on the field and then just wipe them out with the creatures I had left. That is, you know, depending on what they had done, but, you know, they kind of, they misclicked. I'm assuming they made a misclick, or maybe they didn't realize Ruby was a legendary. No, it, it asks you before you even play it. They're like... Before it hits the field, it asks you, like, are you are you sure you want to do this? Like, you already have one on the field. Oh, kind of a similar opening. I like it. Oh, joy. <laughs> Mono red. Mono red. Or they could be playing... No, it's, it's mono red. Early damage. Yeah, not much I can do really. Not much I can do here unless they run out of cards. Like they seem to be. I am obviously not going to block here. Yeah, there's the monstrous rage. Would have been would have been better for me to block before they did that, you know, when you think about it. Ah, Wouldn't have mattered. Let's get a little bit of life back. Definitely gonna lose this match. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna lose this match, but that's okay. I don't know, I did get a I did just get a hefty amount of life back, but still I, I don't like my chances here. Interesting, they chose not to attack. That does not happen often. That's fine. It won't get rid of them. Deal some hefty damage to them, which I'm fine with. Please let them have okay. Forge, that's not not great. That's fair, because yeah, I had lethal. 
Okay, I returned what I thought was going to be a loss into a victory, so <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. Was not expecting that win there, but I'll definitely take it. With that, we did com or no, we didn't complete. We completed our get 15 wins in a week, which leveled us up. What did we get? A thousand gold. Very cool. Our next level is going to give us the Jace Reawakened Exquisite Sleeve. Cool. Cool. Anyway, um, we have time. Yeah, I have, I have time for another match. We'll do one more match. Uh, this should complete our daily. We only need four more casts for our daily to be completed, so that hopefully this is enough. If we go out, if we go out on a win, awesome. If we don't, that's okay. Honestly, I've got the wins that I wanted. My goal every week is always to try to get those 15, 15 wins, because that, that right there is a lot of experience. Every win is 250 experience. So that's seven and a half levels. Wait, no, sorry. It's a thousand experience to level up. Um, <laughs> that's almost, it's three, it's three and three quarter levels. You're, you're 250 experience off of being a fourth level, and that, that that's considerable. But anyway. Okay, green, white. Probably start off with Thalia to keep them, to make it just a little bit harder for them to cast some spells. Makes it a little harder for me to cast some spells too, but... Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead with Vanguard instead of the Lunark. Okay, the reason I did that is because not only Thalia you know, makes all non-creature spells uh, cost an additional mana. So, and uh, then uh, throwing in the copper coat makes gives gives all humans you know award one other than copper coat. So effectively, they would have had to use four mana to get Thalia off the field with something like an ossification or or the like. So they just decided to. They said, "Nope, I'm done." <laughs> Which, yeah, I respect it. I just, I don't know why I find that funny. But anyway, I'll do one more match because that was really quick. That was really quick. I know I said that that would be the last, but that I expected it to be an actual match, not a, not a, oh, he sends out a second card? Yep, I'm done. Let's see. Definitely taking a little bit of time today to, to uh, get into matches, it seems like. There we go. Alright, definitely, this will definitely be the last match of the episode. Even if it's even if it's a really quick one. Oh, I like it. Go warden. Probably turn three Knight Errant, I would think. Unless they're going to get rid of my Warden, which they are. That's fine. Humans. We're going to send out a Copper Coat. I won't be able to send that out next turn because they got rid of one of my creatures. Wouldn't be surprised if they get rid of my Vanguard here as well with like a Lightning. Okay. I have to take the hit, because I'm not going to lose my vanguard. Not right now, at least. Alright, now both of them have a ward, and that is a companion I've not seen before. I like it. Okay, so mono red prowess is what they're playing with. It's 
it's got ward two. You gotta remember that. Which, I mean, a play with fire can take it out, but that would be using up all of your mana. You don't like your strike me. Is that enough? Not quite. They'd need one more spell. You know, Monstrous Rage on that one. And that's enough. Good game. Well done. Well done. Yeah, they knew not to... They knew they were smart about it. They knew not to attack with a Codebreaker because I would have blocked, giving me six life back. So, which would have negated that, I think, down to leave me with two. So, well thought out. And that is our loss. For, that is our first loss in the episode. But that's okay. Five, five matches, four wins, one loss. I think I can be happy with that. Yeah? <laughs> but anyway, with that, I am going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you do happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you all next time.